In this modern era where brute forcing short passwords is very easy for really short passwords, literally instantaneously, let alone using more sophisticated techniques like dictionary attacks and rainbow tables, which makes even longer passwords relatively easy to crack, every single internet user should be using some form of password manager. There are arguments to be had about a local solution versus an online solution, but one great solution out there is KeyPassXC. But if you're a Debian user, make sure you pay very, very close attention to which version of the package you actually install, because it's gotten a little bit more complicated. This was posted by the KeyPass XC developers. Debian users, be aware the maintainer of KeyPass XC package for Debian has unilaterally decided to remove all features from it. You will need to switch to KeyPass XC full to maintain capabilities once this lands outside of testing slash SID. This started with, let's just say, a well-intended, but in my opinion, fairly misguided bug report. KeyPass XC, compiling with disabled networking support. Now keep this title in mind because it'll be very important to what we talk about a bit later. KeyPass XC provides a CMake option to disable networking support, like download the favicon or something. I believe most of the people don't want their password manager to connect somewhere they don't know and it will improve user privacy. Now if that's all that option did, that would be fine, go and disable it. But as we can tell from this post and the video not being over, a lot more than just that got disabled. So I'm writing to voice that I disagree with the premise of this bug report. For instance, I find password autofill and automatic checking against have I been pwned valuable and wouldn't want to miss it. So I would prefer that networking support is retained in KeyPass XC or if it were to be disabled, I would prefer it to be done in a separate package, e.g. KeyPass XC no network or some such. So the networking functionality lets you automatically search on have I been pwned to see if that account had been pwned. Personally, I feel like that's pretty useful. But another person was in favor of the change. A separate binary package would be nice, although I would prefer that the default binary have networking disabled and users could opt in by installing KeyPass XC net enabled instead of net disabled or whatever you decide to name it. Of course, that's just my opinion. For my systems, I always recompile the source package with network being disabled. So obviously they were already using that functionality anyway. Now, as of this recording, this has not made its way into stable. Currently it is in testing and unstable. So that's Trixie and Sid. At this stage, what we have is two separate packages. We have KeyPass XC and KeyPass XC full. Besides the dependencies being a tad different, pretty much the only thing different about these two pages is this message down the bottom. So for the main package, this package includes only the bare minimal functionality and no security complications like networking, SSH agent, browser plugin, FDO secret storage. See KeyPass XC full if you absolutely need those. And then over on that one, this package includes all plugins, including networking and various IPC like browser integration, SSH agent, free desktop org secret storage, use at your own risk. And if you already had KeyPass XC installed, when they did the update, there was a news entry attached to it. So it would indicate like what's actually happening to this package. You're now going down to the minimal version. If you want to install the full version, switch to that package instead. As you can probably surmise from the KeyPass XC post, they were not informed of this change happening. They found out when everybody else found out. This led to a number of upstream bug reports like this one right here. Debian SID no feature KeyPass XC package. I'm using the Brave and Firefox browsers under Ubuntu testing using KeyPass XC version 2.7.7. Suddenly the browser integration doesn't work anymore. So I went into the settings menu to enable it again. But the browser integration from the list box selection is gone. Not only that one, but there are only two items left. And you can see right here, Debian GNU Linux Trixie slash Sid. I'm not sure which one they're actually on because those are two different things. This specific feature being broken is one of the things mentioned in the actual package listing themselves. So that is to be expected. 
But this also led to a message from one of the maintainers. This is from Droid Monkey. Julian, that's the person who actually made the change on Debian. This needs to be reverted ASAP. This is now our fourth bug report because of the decision to neuter the base keypass XC package in Debian. Put the base package back where it was and create a keypass XC minimal. And whilst I can understand why this change was made by Julian, Debian typically has a more security focused mindset. This is one of those cases where it is being shown that this change is now actively harming your upstream. When that occurs, it's generally a good idea to revert whatever change you've made. But Julian had a different response. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. It was a mistake to ship with all plugins built by default. This will be painful for a year as users annoyingly do not read the news files that they should be reading, but there's little that can be done about that. As we've seen in every other case where something about a package changes, people never read the news files. It doesn't matter if it's Debian, it doesn't matter if it's Arch, doesn't matter if it's Gen 2 or Ubuntu or anything else out there. People blindly update. That's just the way it happens. They shouldn't, but they do. It is our responsibility to our users to provide them with the most secure option possible as the default. All of these features are superfluous and don't really belong in a local password database manager, these developments are all utterly misguided. Users who need this crap can install the crappy version, but obviously this increases the risk of drive-by contributor attacks. What he's referring to here is the recent XZ stuff. This was a maintainer that was very affected by that. Debian itself was very affected by it, and he spent a lot of time involved in those discussions. And because of that, he is now very worried about any possible code making its way into a project that possibly, you know, shouldn't be in there and all that sort of stuff. XZ was bad. We all know XZ was bad. But my thought here is if you feel like the full version of this project is crappy and people shouldn't use it, why are you maintaining the package in the first place? If you don't trust the work that Upstream is doing, why are you putting that in front of Debian users? I am honestly surprised that Droid came back with a fairly reasonable response. Good luck to you, really bad decision, we'll be sure to let everyone know. It's the same code from the same provider. Do you have a documented validated security issue with all of the features we provide? Otherwise, it's your opinion and likely yours alone. Obviously, he's being a bit snarky here, but after having the software called Terrible, I wouldn't have been surprised if he just absolutely snapped. Now, when the term plugin is being used here, it's not being used in the way you would typically understand it as some additional bit of code that isn't part of the core code base. Someone else brought up the plugin issue as well. To this person, Droid says, you fundamentally misunderstand our program when you use the word plugin. These are built-in features, not plugins. The features can be enabled as desired by the user and they come disabled by default. This change to not compile and ship these features in the base keypass XC package does nothing besides create angry or confused users. Now, after this, a former keypass XC maintainer chimed in and they agree with Julian. Compiling without plugins was added as a feature back in 2016 to reduce attack surface and potential vulnerabilities. This was especially a heated topic back then because key HTTP had a vulnerability in the past and also the favicon fetching mechanism via HTTP was, is susceptible to SSRF attacks. In my honest opinion, Keypass XC should provide a warning UI in place of the usual browser integration page informing the user that the current installation doesn't have capabilities and they should install the full version instead. I actually think that might be a good idea. You can't really say install the full version because it's kind of unclear if other distros decide to do the same thing and then the stuff is just missing. But what they could do is for these core features, if they are not compiled in, still show an icon for it in the interface and have some sort of warning there saying, this version of Keypass XC does not have the full capabilities, contact your distro. To which Droid said, I'm all for a Keypass XC minimal package that has no or limited features, but to switch the main Keypass XC package from full featured to no feature 
is the problem at hand here. We will bear the brunt of this decision with issues and complaints, not Debian or Julian. That's the main issue. People were migrated from the full package to not the full package. If people who already had Keepos XC were migrated over to the full version, it would be annoying for new people who install the package and realize things are missing, but at least the existing users would not be affected. And right, I get it, security. But this is something that should have been communicated upstream beforehand to make sure they had systems in place to sort of mitigate this issue. Having these interfaces in the application that say, this feature is missing, contact your distro, and things of that nature. Now, do you remember that title from earlier? Compiling with disabled networking support. As we saw from the package, it's a bit more than just networking stuff. Well, one of the things that got disabled, which really should not have been disabled, is support for YubiKeys. You know, hardware authentication devices, so if they have that disabled, they can't access their password database. In the lead up to this thread, I received three reports of this new package method crippling people's workflows. One report was a user who couldn't open their database anymore because the YubiKey feature was removed. Let that sink in for a second. People who lose access to the most important secrets can sometimes do irrational things in the moment of panic. I would not be surprised if an affected user tries to delete the database or generate a new one or just do something to get access to their passwords again if they don't know this feature is actually missing. Now, what is very important to remember here is even when these features are compiled in, every feature is opt-in for KeePass XC. If you don't enable it, the code never gets executed. We think long and hard about introducing a new feature. We have an extensive code review process. We aren't perfect, but we certainly put a ton of effort into delivering a secure and feature-rich, if you desire, password manager. I do think it's completely fine to call on Julian to revert this package, to pull the package, and put it back into the state it was in before. What I don't think is fine is the people that are trash-talking him, going after him outside of the issue tracker. There's one conversation happening over on the uh, Mastodon where someone was talking about his employer and how this was really disrespectful. That's going way too far. But we do get one very interesting line from the GitHub. Is Debian now suckless.org? The whole thing with suckless is you have a basic application that has no features in it, and if you want it to actually be useful, you need to go and patch it yourself. In this case, you need to go install the full version of the application. Since it seems like this is not going to be reverted, Droid said this. This was not communicated to us beforehand, nor was there a chance to collaborate on an effective solution for both parties. There also seems to be no going back per Julian above. So this one-way door decision is the new reality I can guess. All I can say is, use the flat pack and get away from distro lock altogether. And the flat pack is officially packaged by the KeePass XC team. Now maybe I'm just a bit of an ass. Very possible, but at this stage, I would just do something entirely out of spite. For example, what X Screen 7 did to Debian back a few years ago, when um, he didn't want to deal with really outdated bug reports from Debian users, so he just added a giant warning message if the application got too out of date. Literally on the lock screen, it said, This version of X Screen Saver is very old please upgrade. Or you have the case of MPV throwing a warning if it's run on GNOME because a number of protocols that MPV wants to be implemented are not yet implemented on GNOME. At a bare minimum, they will need to look at every single bug report going forward and if it's from a Debian user who says this feature is missing, close the bug report and direct them back to where they should go. Probably could be done with a bot fairly easily. I am of two very distinct minds about application packaging. On one hand, you have cases like this where downstream has now actively changed the way the package is being shipped, giving users an inferior experience to what they had before. But on the other hand, you need the distros there to make sure cases like XZ get caught before they get shipped out to every single user. Because if there was something like XZ in the form of a flat pack, for example, there wouldn't be any process before people started using it as soon as it was there, 
people would have the updated version, and that's obviously bad. I don't know how to solve this problem, and anyone that claims they do have a solution probably hasn't thought about the problem long enough. But what do you think? Are you a KeyPass XC user? Did this affect you? Are you not a Debian SID user and had no idea this was actually going on? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, also, what do you think should be done about this? Let me know. Go like the video, go like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe to LibreaPay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I still like Bitwarden.